attacked by horrible praying mantis birds who fight on each other all day. <laughs> no one reads the silent animals. Some of us are Oh, this is pancakes and Miss Tabs this morning. Hey, everyone. This is the intro. <laughs> Hey everybody, Douglas Blair Roberts here, the Super Vader 400, Super Vader 400, and the brown skin woman here, coming back at you with another video, video review, and video, I'm coming back at you with another movie review and rant, and as you can see by the title, this is the intro to my rant on the 2021 Mortal Kombat film, both, there will be a part one short narration version, short narration version and a part two a part two webcam a part two um webcam um webcam long off camera webcam version version um um now I, i'm gonna tell you right now i had no expectations i had no expectations for this film my expectations suddenly risen after seeing scorpion's revenge and reading more about the cast of characters will be appearing in the film appearing in the film but then when i saw the screenplay when i saw the screenplay and several things that were going to be happening in the film there will be spoilers so if you don't want to be spoiled don't even watch this film don't even turn the video off turn the video off now after i make my grand entrance turn the video off but um yeah um after see reading about several spoilers several spoilers I immediately deemed this film failure. Yes, I deemed it failure. You have the same opportunity. Avengers, Green Lantern 2011, Thor, Dragon Ball Evolution, Dragon Ball Evolution, and Dragon Ball Evolution, Ninja Turtles 2014. What was that other film? Um, 2014, and The Amazing Spider-Man films, part one and two. Those films, the worst live action comic book movies of all time. You have the chance. You have the ch you have the opportunity to do what those films did. The first several I did, excluding the Amazing Spider-Man's, I thought all these films were gonna suck, and I went in and I came out liking them. I went in with the lowest expectations possible and came out liking them. Um, they 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 surprised the hell out of me and impressed me. Films like the Amazing Spider-Man, I predicted these films would be terrible, and there was no shock at all. There was no shock at all. There was no surprises. They were as terrible. They were terrible. Actually, the only surprise was they were even worser. They were even worser than I thought they were going to be. And I thought they were going to be. And that was the case here. So you have, to, you have the opportunity to prove me wrong. And it's mixed. While the film is still bad, it's still terrible, as I predicted, it's far from boring. And it's actually, um, it's actually pretty um, entertaining. It's actually pretty entertaining. The beginning part is boring, but it's worth it later. The last 30 plus minutes... Are my favorite are my favorite parts of the film because that's where the film finally became Mortal Kombat. The first part feels like you're watching some terrible, some crappy samurai film, some crappy samurai film, some crappy samurai film, and a mixture of various other um movies I'm gonna talk about in part two and um three. This was a terrible Mortal Kombat adaptation. It was an idiot, it deviated from the source material even worse than the previous did. Well, that's it for now. Let me make my grand entrance, show this film what I'm made of, and in part two, you'll see what I'm talking about, and you'll see just what I'm made of. So with that being said, let's get started.
first part of my part two webcam review and rant on the 2021 Mortal Kombat film, which I just got done watching for the second time. Second time. This film right here, like I said in the um, narration portion, this film, this film was terrible as I expected. But it was much more enjoyable, much more enjoyable and watch and more watchable and more um watchable than I expected. Tell you the truth, um, I never really had any hopes in the Mortal Kombat film. I started to um, I never had really any high hopes for the film. My expectations started to increase as soon as I saw the Scorpions Revenge film around the time that was released. They had a they had a casting choice, and I was like, okay, the film. It looks pretty, from the casting choice, it looks pretty good. Of course, it was just a casting choice of characters who were going to be in the film. They didn't see what the plot was going to be about. They didn't see what the plot was going to be about, but as more, as over time, as more details became notable, I be, I went back to my original opinion. The main reason I really, I didn't have any hopes in this brand new Mortal Kombat adaption, adaptation is because it's the same thing what Hollywood does with every reboot nowadays even though you can do better even though you can do more and do better now they always do less or they always they always um try to make it bigger than it really than it really is in the process go even further than their previous version and this is what i'm getting at the original mortal kombat the original mortal kombat films even the terrible sequel annihilation they were near perfect they were near perfect they were near perfect only thing you needed was to go closer to the storyline, go closer to the storyline, and have and um and a bigger budget so you can have all the cool special moves, special moves and fatalities seen in the quote unquote um video games. And for me, fatalities are last because most of those fatalities aren't canon; they're just for the enjoyment of the player. To this day, Mortal Kombat fans still don't get that. That they're not canon to the storyline. They're just there for the enjoyment of the kit of the uh, of the player and there's just themes of the series, man. Just themes of the series. So um so yeah, fatalities are last week, but that's all you needed. That's all you needed to do. The first one was closer. This one deviated further away from the storyline and created even dump and created an even dumber plot. Created an even dumber plot, which means to my next point, like I said in the narration portion. If this movie was its own movie with its own created characters, own created characters, it would have been the, probably the greatest movie ever, greatest movie um ever. However, 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 it's supposed to be a Mortal Kombat film, and this film already in the opening segments breaks several rules and deviates from the source material even further than the originals did. And people try to say, well, you play. Well, who plays Mortal Kombat for the storyline? I I play for the storyline, gameplay, characters, characters, fatalities, and everything, and um, everything. I play I play each game. I play and read about each game to see what happens in the next game. To see what happens in the next game. I'm still waiting to see the fallout from what happened in Mortal Kombat 11. And if you go back and analyze the story from the original Mortal Kombat, that's Mortal Kombat 1 through 8. One through um eight. If you analyze that storyline, you put all the, the all the um, cutscenes, all the bios and endings together. Endings together, it forms one gigantic um storyline. This the the some most of those cutscenes and endings are quote unquote connected. Even some endings you know aren't connected. Mortal Kombat 11 are um. Mortal Kombat 11 connected every ending together. So when you have a non-canon ending, it's a, it's not non-canon. It's just an alternate reality. It's just an alternate reality. So once again, get out of here. Stop justifying Netherrealm Studios' horrible writing. I thought the new Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 9 through 11, I thought storyline-wise was absolutely um, a storyline and lore-wise was absolutely atrocious, atrocious. And I thought this. Right here, this right here, the 2021 film was even worse than that in any previous adaptation of um, 
mortal on um, combat. So yeah, stop, stop um, dissecting their um, trash. We can criticize it based on the storyline, especially with the video games, the old ones, which barely had a storyline, have better writing and more consistent writing and more believable writing and storyline than this, um, than this crappy chosen one, than this crappy chosen one, um, storyline storyline and this right here people try to say it was true to the games this movie was not true to the this movie was not true to the games only three things are true to the games the special maneuvers i'm glad we have more of that in this film since we had a higher budget we have more special maneuvers and attack the fatalities the fatalities and the martial arts and the martial arts that is it that 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 is it Everything else, everything else, the characters, their motivations, everything else is wrong, is wrong, is wrong. This film was a cross between Justice League, Suicide Squad, The Avengers, and the X-Men based franchise. The X-Men um, based franchise, and once again, it would have been the greatest movie ever if they had, um, fought, if they had, um, been their own type if there had been their own um, film instead of being based upon the Mortal Kombat films. But despite all that, the film is exciting. My favorite scene was the final battle where everything came together, followed by every followed by everything else. I do like how, like I said, this is important to me. Whenever I'm watching a martial arts or comic book film, how a series of um, events, a series of training events, a series of events and training set up the epic battle we see at the end, we see at the um, end, end where everyone pretty much transformed where the movie finally became Mortal Kombat. Before, for the first several minutes, like I said, you were watching Justice League Suicide Squad, Justice League Suicide Squad, The Avengers, um, X-Men, and some cliche martial arts horrible looking samurai samurai uh film the last 30 plus minutes it transforms into mortal combat the characters with their familiar moves and powers all fighting each other all fighting um, all fighting each other all fighting each other so these were the most um exciting parts and um next is the cast the cast of characters i love the cast of characters however they were directed poorly. I've seen some of these cast members, like the guy who portrays Liu Kang, Louis Lin, he was Zack in the Power Rangers 2017 movie. The guy who portrays um, Raiden, he was he was Hogan, the Asian Asgardian of the Warriors 3 in Thor. In, um, in Thor. In Thor. These were the two actors I um, recognized um, the most. Louis Tan, he was actually... He was the best actor, the MVP of actors in the film. MVP of actors um, in the film. MVP of actors in the film. But they were, the actors were poorly directed, and the script tried to take itself way too seriously. Too, way too um, seriously. That it comes off as even more cheesy, corny, and just cringe, just cringeworthy. Just quote unquote, um, just quote unquote cringeworthy. It brings my next point before I get back to the, the terrible acting. Kano. Kano, the guy portraying him, Kano, Kano was terrible, and so he was terrible, cringeworthy. They tried to have him in the role that should have been for Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage should have been in this film. I don't mind him creating a new character in Cole. I actually like Cole, especially towards the end where he got the cool golden plot, literal, literally golden plot armor, plot armor, plot armor at the end. It took it, um, took, I think he took out Goro. Yeah, he took out Goro. He took out Goro and helped some and helped Scorpion. It helps Scorpion, um, help Scorpion Bangwish Sub Zero, Sub Zero in the film, Sub <coughs> Sub Zero in the film with Scorpion. Before I, before I continue with the bad, Scorpion was the other thing they did good, just like in Scorpion's Revenge. Scorpion's Revenge, while this film, in my opinion, just like Scorpion's Revenge, kissed Scorpion's butt way too much. They made uh, he was, they made him the important character to them. Like I've said in plenty of reviews of Mortal Kombat, one thing I cannot stand about every 90s adaptation of Mortal Kombat outside of the video games, they always made Scorpion a bad guy in contrast to his neutral alignment in the video game. He's not a good guy, so having him as a bad guy is not too far because he's not a good guy either. But he's not a bad guy either. He's shown to be an honorable um, warrior. And for, at least from Mortal Kombat 1, 
through from Mortal Kombat's one through four and even Deception, his actions benefited those. His actions usually benefited those of the heroes, which is why some people look actually call him an anti-hero an anti-hero but um yeah scorpion on uh, what's his day what's his day but they butchered sub-zero they got scorpion but they butchered sub-zero once again rehashing stuff from the, from the 1995 movie sub-zero is still in servitude and this one it's even worse than the 95 but at least in 95 we could say he, they were slaves under shang sung's power shang sung's powers which is i hated that here sub-zero is willingly serving shang sung Sub-Zero's loyalty, the original Sub-Zero, Beihan's loyalty is to the Lin Kuei Elder Omiru. The Lin Kuei Elder Omiru, not Shang Tsung. Not Shang Tsung. So once again, we ashing that trash. And everyone here, everyone here, all these minions were just subservient to Shang Tsung. Melina, Cabal, Cabal, who Cabal pissed me off the most. Cabal, he was actually... Cabal, it was when I saw Cabal, I immediately disowned, when I, when I heard about what Cabal's role was going to be in this film, I immediately disowned this, I immediately disowned this film and deemed it failure on the spot and gave it the chance, and it sort of did, gave it the chance to get down, you, you are, you are automatically terrible Mortal Kombat 2021, but you have the chance to prove me wrong, just like every other movie I've seen, and it sort of did, I, it, it still sucked, but it was at least enjoyable and entertaining, it wasn't, Completely terrible, like the Amazing Spider-Man films, Part One and Two, the worst, the worst live-action comic book movies of all time. Uh, all time. This is actually enjoyable. If I were to do a comic book, a uh, worst comic book movie, this will probably have an auto. This will probably have a top spot or a top best spot or an honorable mention spot. Same with if I were to do a worst movies list, it will probably have an honorable mention spot or a top spot. Most likely honorable mentions. So, um, yeah. Um, so, but, um, so, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, Rayco, yeah, Cabal, go back, Cabal, 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 I read that he was going to be receiving a fatality from Luke Kane. That's not what I want to see in a Mortal Kombat film. Cabal, first off, Cabal's not even supposed to be in this era of Mortal Kombat. This Mortal Kombat, he showed up in Mortal Kombat 3, the very epic invasion storyline, not the tournament plots. Then here, he, here he's subservient to Shang Tsung, he's subservient to Shang Tsung. And he fights Liu Kang in an awesome battle, but gets a fate, gets a gets Liu Kang's dragon fire fatality, dragon fire fatality, fire fate fate. Oh, I'm telling you, that's not what I'm gonna see. Just Cabal is on Liu Kang's team. He doesn't become a bad guy again until Deception, until Deception. And even that was because Havoc, the cleric of chaos, the guy who knows chaos and evil, the guy who knows chaos and evil, convinced him to be a bad guy and reform the Black Dragon. Even then, he was still unaffiliated with the other bad guy, the main bad guy, Unaga and his team. He had his own clan to lead, his own clan to lead. As such, you know he's a bad guy, he's one of the chosen warriors you play as to defeat Unaga in the video game. In the quote unquote video game. Next, um, next is, um, so, um, yeah, we got Reiko. Reiko, once again, being washed and wasted here, just like he was in the new timeline. In the new timeline, Molina getting wasted. Molina doesn't hang me that much because I never really cared that much for Molina, but that character has a huge fan base, and once again, they're screwing those fans, and she gets wasted. Reptile, Reptile, I, I pretty much come to expect what he, what happened to him, and I hate how important Kano was. Kano sucked, in my opinion. I, Kano sucked. I hate how he was part of the, the like I said, a, this is a rip off of Suicide Squad. Only on a Suicide Squad like T would Kano be up, would, would anyone have a member like Kano on their team? Would have a member like Kano on their team? No one would trust or have a guy like Kano on their team unless it's like a Suicide Squad based team. Suicide Squad based team. So um, that's the problem I had with Kano. So that's the problem I had with quote unquote Kano. That's the problem I had with Kano in the uh, movie. That's the problem I had with um, Kato and then his lives were crazy where he could not put in could that um could that um pass me again pass me an egg roll with the with the terrible Australian accent. The guy's Australian in real life, but his accent he was over exaggerating it. Then he tried to be comical, which made it even more cringeworthy. Cringeworthy he was laughing because he was cringeworthy and terrible. And just try hard. Just try hard. Kato did not save the film. Kano did not save from anything. Him being important dragged down the film. And what is the blood 
did just other dumb stuff. Luke Kang when when Luke Kang meets the other channel meets the meets the other Mortal Kombat participants. He immediately blasts Kano with a fireball and then he says, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not here to kill you. I'm not here to hurt you. After blasting Kano with a fireball. Blasting Kano with a fireball. Then the elite the ply immediately contradicts Mortal Kombat. Shang Tsung sends his warriors. Shang Tsung sends his warriors. Oh, the plot. The plot starts off in um uh, in um uh, you know ancient times with Scorpion. Not ancient times, but with the Shiraiu and Lin Kuei fight each other and Sub Zero killing Scorpion once again. Once again, um, once again messing up the rivalry. It's Sub Zero willingly doing it. Willingly doing it. It's not Quan Chi in. This guy is who Quan Chi is completely missing from his film. Now, Quan Chi in the original timeline was no part of, um, did not take part in Mortal Kombat 1. Did not take part in Mortal Kombat um, 1. It didn't come into play until Mortal Kombat um, 4. Mortal Kombat uh, 4. Mortal Kombat 4. But this movie established that it's taking things from the new timeline, the current timeline. The new timeline of Mortal Kombat. And Quan Chi was wrecked it. To being a part, but to being there in Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 1, at Mortal Kombat 1 through 3, through um, 3, is Sub Zero willingly killing his clan, and, and somehow Raiden saves the previous infant, and Hanzo's soul descends to the nether realm, daring to return one day to help the new chosen warriors. Hope the new chosen warriors wear a, wear a new Mortal Kombat tournament. So Shang Tsung sends his warriors, Cabal, Reiko, Molina, and Sub Zero, Sub Zero, Sub Zero, and Goro to kill, to kill the um, to kill the to kill the um, to kill the chosen um warriors. Sub Zero freezes and freezes and, and breaks freezes and breaks Drax's freezer and rips off. Freezes and rips off both of Jackson's arm, forcing him to get the cybernetic enhancements. Another problem I have: taking cues from the new terrible Jackson, the new timeline. I like the original timeline where he, the, the, he got the um, arm surg surg surgically fused with his um, current arms to assist in the Outworld War. It's in this new one where he keeps he keeps foolishly attacking people and losing his arms so much he has to wear the robotic arms. He has to wear the robotic arms. They're rehashing that terrible storyline in this new Mortal Kombat uh, film right here. Then, then, uh, then, uh, Kato betrays the group and leaves Sonya under, leaves Sonya unless when he discovers his power. Oh yes, they discover their powers through um, X Men, like I said, like the X Men, like, X -Men, X -Men, like the uh, quote unquote X Men, like the quote unquote X Men. Kato, he has lasers, like optic blast, just like Cyclops, just like Cyclops, and he betrays the group and um, buries Sonya under a uh, um, rock. Kung Lao gets brutally washed and murdered in the first film by Shang Tsung. He's um. Um, 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 oh yeah, what up is next? Um, sorry, I got distracted by the TV. Um, oh yeah, he gets, he, he gets killed by Shang Tsung, so gets his soul taken, gets his soul taken, gets his soul taken, gets his soul taken, and becomes, um, and he really, he's pretty much the, the character. Chan, Chan, um, he becomes the Liu Kang's brother Chan from the original movie, except at least with that plot, Shang Tsung was killed in that movie and his soul was released here. Shang Tsung still has Kung Lao's soul. Shang still has Kung Lao's soul. So, um, yeah. Yeah, um, what else about this, uh, movie? What else about this, uh, movie? What else about this, um, movie? What else about this movie? So, yeah, like I said, my final fight scene was the, my favorite scene was the final scene where everybody becomes more, where everybody becomes 
Then more to come back here is in the film becomes more to come back. You have Jax versus Rako. Cole with his cool new armor. I actually like Cole. Cole in the film. Cole with his new armor. Cole with his new armor. Cole with his new armor. Fighting Goro. Liu Kang fighting Cabal. Liu Kang fighting Cabal. Sonya fighting Kano. Sonya fighting Kano. Sonya fighting um Kano. And I think Cole fought. Cole fought. Cole fought Melina too. Cole fought Melina too. The Tara, I barely remember her in the film. She was in the film too. She quickly got washed and wasted. She's the Rain and Shiva of this film. Two characters, two characters from Mortal Kombat Annihilation, who were who were who were just put in the film just to die. Pretty much that was every character. But at least the other characters got good fight scenes and got a good amount of screen time first. These characters got killed off without a single fight, and she got killed off. And I don't even remember. I don't even remember. I gotta watch it again to see what I, to see what her fate was. I heard she got killed off quickly, but I gotta watch it again to see what her fate was. So like I say, once again, wasting characters, repeating the same mistakes of the 1995 Annihilation film. And speak going back to the cast. Like I said, the cast was terrible. They, I like the cast, but they were terrible. I've seen them in other stuff other stuff but they were just terrible here they were just um terribly and poorly directed the original cast from 95 and even 97 the conquest one two those members they blew this cast out of water they blew this cast out of water um yes yeah the acting the screenwriting the screenwriting it was inaccurate to the uh, memes despite all that it was still entertaining it was still entertaining um i would never pay money if i were to give a rating I'm based on Double Toasted, Spill.com, you know their ratings, they have their over-the-top ratings for movies. You have the first one, you have the first one, um, you have the first one, uh, Better Than Sex, where no film gets this, I don't remember a few films get this, where it's a film that exceeds the boundaries of cinema, boundaries of cinema, it's cinema, and art, and it, as an art form. Then you have the second one, um, Full Price, this is the one film's Great films commonly get full price, pay full price for it. Then matinee, good film, but not for full price. Put, pay the cheap afternoon price, the cheap afternoon price. Then you got rental. That's what they would get, a high rental is what I would get. It's good enough to watch, but not, don't pay money for it. Watch this leak copy, watch this leak copy or wait, wait for the rent box DVD pay-per-view HBO Max, something like that. HBO, um... HBO Max, something like that. Then you got some old bullshit, which is probably should have got, but it's way more entertaining to be deserving of some old bullshit. It's probably should have got some old bullshit, but once again, it's screwing up Mortal Kombat. But the film is highly entertaining, so I, I um, it, it deserves higher than some old bullshit. Then the award they probably should have got, they also should have got because for screwing up the storyline, even worse than the previous one. Like F U, this is F U. F U F U F U oh F U um F U um F U F U F U the biggest F U which is this is where is D right where is there is D is where F U is where it's downright offensive and there's nothing redeemable there's nothing redeemable about it uh there's there was some redeemable stuff so it deserved higher than the F U so yeah. So, um, yeah, that's why, um, yeah, so, yeah, rental for me is what this film would be. I would watch it sequels, but I would never pay money to see any of these. I would never pay money to see any of these. Shang-Chi will be the real Mortal Kombat, uh, film. Mortal Kombat film, and 95 and 97, when it comes to video game adaptations, along with Son of the Hedgehog, will never be beat, will never be beat. Along with Son of the Hedgehog, the Street Fighter, animes, animes, animes. Animes, anime, animes will never be, um, animes will never be, um, animes, animes will never be top. The Street Fighter 2 animated movie and alpha movie, these video game movies, they quote unquote will never be, um, they will, in Silent Hill, these will never be top when it comes to, um, Video game adaptations, man. Video game adaptations, man. So, um, yeah, that was, um, Mortal Kombat 2021. You don't want to hear the rest of the, um, music. Turn the video off right now. And by the way, I didn't have any 
I didn't have the movie playing in the background because it just came out. And I don't want to get a copyright. I'll do a in the future. There'll be a better narration version and a video commentary review and maybe a webcam version with the movie playing in the background. But with that being said, um, I'm finished for now. You want to hear the rest of the music? Turn the video off right now. Let me show you who I am. 